and today's grammar lesson, we're going to be discussing the, a, uh, and an. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. I bought an Eiffel Tower toy. I bought an Eiffel Tower toy. I bought an Eiffel Tower toy. In the first sentence, the reason that we use the is simply due to the fact that it is the specific Eiffel Tower, the one in Paris, the only one that we know of. And in the second sentence, we're using an because it could be any Eiffel Tower toy. It is not a specific toy. I bought an apple. I bought an apple. I bought an apple. And we use an because this starts with a vowel sound. And that's why it's an and not a. And we're not using the because we're not talking about a specific apple. We're talking about one of many. The apple tasted great. The apple tasted great. The apple tasted great. In this case, we're using the because this the is referring to that apple in this sentence. And that's why we're using the instead of an apple. And actually, we wouldn't use an apple tasted great normally. We would use apples tasted great instead. So that's why we're using the specific the apple instead of an apple. It made a great snack. It made a great snack. It made a great snack. And gra, the gra sound is a consonant sound, and that's why we're using a instead of an. And we're talking about a variety of snacks. We're not talking about anything specific, and that's why we would use a instead of the. I had an assignment. I had an assignment. I had an assignment. And again, we use an because we're talking about any assignment, a vague assignment, and not a specific assignment. And also, we use it because it has a vowel sound at the beginning of the word. I made an honest mistake. I made an honest mistake. I made an honest mistake. And in this case, we're using an because we're not talking about something spe specific. I made the mistake. We are talking about a general honest mistake. And the reason we're using the n is because it's one of those exceptions to the rules where even though it starts with a consonant, it actually has a vowel sound at the beginning. So we're treating it like the h does not exist. And that's just one of the um, exceptions to the rules. Likewise, with the next sentence, I joined a union. I joined a union. I joined a union. And since the U is using like the U sound as in Y-O-U, as in the person, which can, Y can sometimes be a consonant. So in this sentence, we're teaching, treating a like it's before a consonant. Even though it's a vowel, it's just one of the, um, grammar rules that we have to memorize. I honestly, before I did this, I would not have been able to tell you that I joined a union was correct. I would have to look it up myself. My daughter wants a unicorn. My daughter wants a unicorn. My daughter wants a unicorn. And again, we're using a unicorn because it is an exception to the rule in most cases, it would be an, but in this case with the U, we're using a. He was an honorable man. He was an honorable man. He was an honorable man. And again, we have the same exception from earlier, where we ignore the H and we just treat it as the H doesn't exist with the word honorable. They put on a united front. They put on a united front. They put on a united front. 
And again, we have an exception to the rule. With you, we use a, or at least in this situations like Unicorn, United, and Union. I ate an ice cream cone. I ate an ice cream cone. I ate an ice cream cone. And now we're back to normal. What kind of ice cream? An. So it's just a vague one. So with this article, we have a vowel sound and we're using an because of the vowel sound. No exception. This time, we're just following the rule. I want a new car. I want a new car. I want a new car. We're using a because it comes before a consonant. And it's also a general new car. It doesn't matter. There's nothing specific to it. I need a better job. I need a better job. I need a better job. And again, a or a comes before a consonant. So that's why we're using a. I love to walk the beach. I love to walk the beach. I love to walk the beach. We're using the because we're talking about a specific thing that I like to do. It's the specific activity and that is walking the beach. There is a beach near me. There is a beach near me. Now with this, we're not being specific and that's why we're using a uh, and it comes before a consonant. I ate an orange. I ate an orange. I ate an orange. We're using an because it comes before O. And also we're not talking about the orange that I bought. We're talking about an orange. So it could be any orange will do. I have a used car. I have a used car. I have a used car. In this one, with the used sound, we're um, breaking the rule again. Where it would normally be an, we have an exemption, or it's just a thing you have to memorize with the U sounds. I have a used car. It was a one-time deal. It was a one-time deal. It was a one-time deal. And this is another exception with the hyphenated words like that, where we would use a uh, instead of an. The car still runs. The car still runs. The car still runs. And again, the is to a specific word, uh, to a specific car. And that's why we're using the. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I realize a, uh, an, and the are confusing concepts. Basically, it's just a matter of getting used to using them over and over again or hearing them. Um, repetition helps. And if you have to look things up, that's perfectly fine. Native English speakers still have to look things up. Just how it is. It's a complicated language. There are a lot of rules with a lot of exceptions. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll answer as promptly as I can. Thank you. Uh, have a great day.